Hi there. We are going to talk about the separating techniques today. As we can see in question four, the diagram A B C, which are this diagram right here, this diagram they show three pieces of apparatus for separating substances. This is the moment that you need to think about all the separating techniques that you've ever learned in case three. If you need a list, for example, we got filtration, evaporation. Chromatography, simple distillation, fractional distillation, etc., etc. So part A says, could you draw a line from each apparatus to the name of the method of separation? Draw only three lines. Well, it seems like that this question wants us to identify the name of each separating technique. Why don't we start with A? So right here in A, I hope you guys can see a condenser right here.、Uh, apparently, the cold water is going to get in from this direction and going out from that direction. We are heating it up right here. As we heat it up, part of the mixture will be heated up into a gas form, and then the gas particle will enter the condenser, be condensed back into the liquid, and this is how we separate one liquid from another liquid. Or we can use the distillation to separate a soluble solid and、um, the liquid. So in this case, it would be distillation. And then let's move on. For part B,、um, I hope you guys can see that this is a filter paper, or sometimes we call it chromatography paper. And we got all of these spots of sample at the bottom. You always need to make sure that the surface of the solvent should be below. The baseline, because you don't want it to interrupt with the experiment. So this is the chromatography, and then let's keep going. Finally, we got part C.、Uh, well, this one, I hope you guys can see that this is the funnel, and then we got a filter paper right there,、um, insoluble solid, which is right here, and they are gonna be filtered out as the residue. The liquid that's dripping out of this will be the filtrate. In other words, this is filtration. Okay, guys, I think we have finished everything on this page. Shall we move on to the next page? In part B, it says Debbie has a mixture of sand and salt water. Look at the diagrams on the opposite page, which was the page that we were looking at. Which apparatus would Debbie use to separate the sand from the salt water? Let's analyze it, shall we? The salt water, that is a solution, and the sand in this case is insoluble solid. What do we use to separate solution and insoluble solid? We would usually use filtration to do that, and in the last page, filtration is C, which means the answer for the question will be C. And then let's keep going. Which apparatus would she use to separate pure water from the salt water? Well, pure water in this case is the liquid, and salt water is a solution. How do we separate the salt from the water? To be honest, we can use evaporation, but I don't think evaporation was a choice from the previous page. In that case, we can use distillation. If we go back to distillation, I hope you guys can see that the water will be heated into water vapor, will get into the condenser, and then will be condensed back into the liquid water collected by that little beaker on the right hand side. So in this case, the answer for the question will be A. Okay, and I think that's pretty much it for this question. Please like and subscribe. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.